What's up, the John Squad, and welcome to this Monday morning weekly episode of John's Thoughts, episode 221. That is right, the John Squad, so let's do this. Shout the John Squad, and this is where we're keeping our social distances away, because that's what we have to work on in the world. So, here we go. Let's do this. Shout the John Squad. So, we are going to start off with the Dallas Cowboys. Let's see what's going on with the Dallas Cowboys in football. Let's see, the Dallas Cowboys sign Alden Aldon Smith. That's a pretty good pickup for them. And he played for the Oakland Raiders last year, so that's a pretty good pickup for them. The Cowboys sign Aldon Smith. Now, the Indianapolis Colts sign Xavier Rhodes. Xavier Rhodes. That's pretty good for Phil Rivers. At least he's getting some help now. So, it's pretty good. Good luck. Man, it just makes me sad, man. Because I, I, I love Phil Rivers on the Chargers. This makes me sad just to see him not a Charger anymore and plays for the Colts now. So, anyway, on to some other news. Um, the um, Tampa Bay Buccaneers re-signed Dominic and Sue. And they re-signed him, by the way. They re-signed Dominic and Sue. We used to play for the Lions, the Dolphins, other teams like that. But they re-signed Dominic and Sue. Let's see. Um, the Dallas Cowboys signed DeAndre, DeAndre Poe. That's who also they signed. Let's see. Uh, the Chief signed Demarcus Robinson to a... One year deal. That's pretty good for the Kansas City Chiefs, the Super Bowl champs. Let's see. Also, the Cowboys made a couple moves during this week, too. Man, they just made a couple moves. Cowboys signed Greg Zerline. You know, I think he's a kicker, a punter, a kicker, I believe. Greg Zerline. The Cowboys signed Greg Zerline. And I believe all the Cowboy fans were, like, shocked or surprised that they signed him, but. I don't know, he's, he played for the Rams last year, so, I don't know what's going on, uh, and for my Detroit Lions, for all you Detroit Lions fans out there who bleed Halloween of Blue out there, who love the Detroit Lions, and I'm a huge Detroit Lions fan, that's my number one team, Los Angeles Chargers are my backup one, uh, Jamie and Collins, the new Detroit Lions pickup, believes Lions are are ready to become contenders. Yes, that's what I believe in too with him. Uh, NFL postseason will now include 14 teams, you know, because that's looking on the bright side for 14 teams. That could probably include the Detroit Lions in there too. So I'm looking forward to that. 14 teams in the postseason this year, you know, you never know. That could be exciting, you know, exciting for football, exciting for the new format, you know. That really is exciting right there. Apparently, um, this is really sad because I got my Boston Celtics hat on and it's not so good for the NBA. And I was hoping that they'll bring the season back. But NBA allergy on to cancel the 2019-20 and 20 season after China CBA shutdown. So it just makes me sad that there isn't going to be an NBA return, unfortunately. And that's why it just makes me sad because the Celtics clinched a playoff spot on... March 10th, and I was hoping to see the Celtics win the championship, so and it was going to be Kemba Walker's first playoff appearance, but it just makes me sad, you know, they work so hard for this, the NBA players, you know, and slap a like on this video for the NBA players and stuff like that, man, because they work so hard off, and, you know, also the nurses and the doctors and the uh, mail deliveries and stuff like that, just slap a like on them because they're doing great around the world too. But it just makes me sad not to see the NBA come back this season probably. So that's why. And I was hoping for the Boston Celtics to win a championship, you know. So that's why. Um, on to great news anyway for the Detroit Lions. Detroit Lions signed CB, I believe, cornerback. Um, not qu quarterback. Cornerback. You know, cornerback. Daryl Roberts. He played for the Jets last year. So now that's a great pickup right there. I've been reading lots of things about him. And like, that's a great, great pickup for the Detroit Lions. 
And now, last but not least, with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers signed quarterback Blaine Gabbert. And apparently they had to sign that guy because in case if Tom Brady goes down with an injury or something like that, they need to have a backup. So that's going to be their backup, Blaine Gabbert. So that's why. So anyway, um, once again, the John squad. I hope you're all staying healthy in this world. Staying healthy, staying motivated, staying fit, staying active, and helping each other, keeping each other safe in the world, what's going on, and... Love each and every single one of y'all. Thank you for joining me here on John's Thoughts, episode 221. I think it was, yep, episode 221. Uh, I appreciate you guys for joining me here on this Monday morning weekly episode of John's Thoughts. Next week, episode 222. Can't wait for that. I hope you all enjoy me next Monday. Look forward to that Monday morning. And um, just thank you for joining me and... I love putting out videos for you guys to keep you all happy and motivated. And stay healthy. Stay positive. We're all get through this in the world. Peace out, the John Squad. Love you guys. Let's elbow it in the video. That's it. Okay. Peace. Happy Monday. Stay positive. Stay motivated. Stay fit. Stay healthy. Love you guys. I truly mean it. I really do. When I say I love you guys, I really do. And also, let's go Celtics. I'm wearing the hat.